Dennis is redoing the living room. Look at that. <laughs> He's so nice at the end camera. <laughs> Look at him rent. <laughs> so this is Skye. We currently moved her over here. She was originally on that corner and she's going back on that corner, but we need to paint the wall because if you can see, there's a lot of dander. There's a lot of dust. And sometimes there's even poop and water stains that get on the wall. <laughs> When the bird is against the wall. Whoever told you birds are not messy, they're lying. And so we have to sand this all down and wipe it down so that Dennis can paint it. What a lot of people do, sometimes they put tarps, like clear tarps on the wall when a bird's going to be on a wall or in a corner um, so that if they do get poop, or splash in their water, dander, the, the mess will get on the tarp instead of the wall. Um, and then some people ask, oh, well, there's a lot of dust over there. Shouldn't the bird be outside of the house? No, not necessarily. My, yeah, it's very minimal. And what I tell customers is it's just sort of like common sense. If the whole room was in a dust of cloud, then I would say, or cloud of dust, then I would say, yeah, the bird should be outside. But dust is very minimal. Sky is over here, nice and safe. She's, she's good. There doesn't, she doesn't need to go outside for this, for this sanding. If anyone ever tells you a bird's not messy, look at Sky's cage. This is about a week and a half worth of mess, which she's definitely overdue to be changed. We love our birds, but we also love our gardens. Look how beautiful this is. We had to come to Wisconsin to find this. We are in the middle of September and it's still kept super nice. It's beautiful. Dennis surprised me and brought me here for lunch. It was so sweet. So many colors. I think this is Kenosha, Wisconsin, right, babe? It's so beautiful.
That's so pretty. All the colors. Hey guys, we had a super busy day today, um, and that's okay. We're usually super busy here at, with our family, and we're usually super busy here at Royal Parrots every day. And being busy usually is good stuff. Usually just means good stuff, so it's totally fine. I finished my day here bringing my girls to Taekwondo, um, and that's okay too. I let them go in to do their Taekwondo stuff and it usually gives me a moment to sit in my car and breathe and think of nothing. And I think as a mom, uh, a million moms out there can agree that it's always nice to have that moment to think of nothing. Um, Dennis is at home. He's with his owl finches now and his supposed violet English budgies. And I know I'm probably gonna have a thousand million people coming at me right now because <laughs> I'm probably gonna make a lot of people mad. But in the history of me owning my storefront and in the history of me raising thousands of baby birds and seeing thousands and thousands of parrots, no one has ever shown me a true violet bird. And I always laugh with Dennis because Dennis is the huge breeder here. And um, I, I tell him every bird that everyone has ever shown me that they call Violet an Indian ring neck, a little bird, an English budgie, is always just a really deep blue, guys. Come on, let's just admit that for once. <laughs> now, um, I love raising baby birds and I do the behavior and I train them. I'm not a genetic person. I know the genetic people go crazy and they're like, Violet this, Violet that. Not yet has anyone convinced me that they have a Violet bird. So um, I can't wait to see the English budgies. To me, they look blue. Dennis said he ordered them violet. He says they're violet. They were a little young. We'll see as they get older, if they truly turn violet. Um, actually, the only time I ever really did see a really super purple parrot, um, Dennis was watching his random YouTube videos and um, he was watching, I think, one that was all in Filipino. I think everyone has seen those at least once or twice. Um, they were raising a bunch of budgies and maybe lovebirds and um, they were speaking in Filipino and I that moment I looked up at the screen and I said oh my goodness that that but no it had to have been a lovebird I said that lovebird is like so purple I said is that real or did they play with the color on the video and he said no I think it's really a, a purple lovebird and I said, do you know how to breed that? And he said, you know what? I have no idea how to breed it. He goes, and it sucks. He goes, because he's probably talking in Filipino, giving us the recipe for that purple bird. And I'm like totally missing it. He's like, that sucks. I really want the recipe for a purple love bird. Um, maybe we'll go back and try to translate it. But that was really the only time I ever saw really, a, uh, a, I'm going to say a violet, but a purple love bird. Um, 
But if anyone has really truly seen a purple bird, a violet parrot, please send me pictures. Please let me know. I would love to see one. And I would love to know the genetics so I can pass it along to Dennis so he can uh, t try his hand in it. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we'll get more footage. Dennis will start breeding his alfinches. He'll start, um, he'll put those violet English budgies into the breeding program. Um, and actually, hopefully soon enough, I'll have another video of Sky. Sky ended up looking amazing after her one bath. Um, and I need to give you guys a follow up on that. I need to give her a second bath and you're going to see she's going to look even more amazing after her second bath. Um, we have uh, videos coming up of bird fairs and visiting customers and pretty soon I'm going to give you a video of our daily routine of Dennis doing the bird room and his um, a video of his breeding program. Um, I don't like to go down there too much. That's actually a, a rule for a lot of breeders to try not to disturb uh, a lot of the breeding birds too much because that you know the myth is true. They can abandon eggs, they can abandon babies and things like that but I will bring our video down there as much as I can so you guys can see. Um, again, you guys can uh, bring in your questions, uh, send in your questions anytime. We'll try to keep up with the messages and um, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on TikTok actually and um, Instagram. So uh, like, subscribe, that's what everyone says, right? For YouTube, like and subscribe and um, so you can follow up with our future videos. And um, again, thank you guys for all of your support. You guys are awesome and keep it birdie. We will see you next time. Take care, bye guys.